Hi, my name is Becky Shade and I'm the Library Director. The book I'm recommending today is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I describe it as a fantasy novel for people who hate fantasy. No elves, no wands, just amazing story. So the main character, Addie, makes a desperate deal and she lives to regret it. But She learns to thrive within the agreement she's made. My favorite thing about the novel is that she it's its beautifully written and she never sacrifices a moment of the storytelling for that beautiful writing. Now this title has gained a lot of attention. It spent the last 29 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. So it's got a long holds list, but we have lots of copies. Put it on hold and you'll get a copy pretty quickly. But if you want to listen to it today, I'd recommend downloading it from Hoopla, the library's digital resource. You're going to be able to do that for free with your library card. You'll be able to listen to it today. No waits with Hoopla. Listen to it on your summer car trip, an evening walk. It'll be perfect. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Bev Callahan, and I'd like to talk to you about Reunion Beach. It's a book that is a collection of stories and poems and essays about a favorite Southern writer called um, Victoria Benton Frank. And she was going to write this book last summer, but she passed away before she could. So her friends, including like Elam Hildebrand and Patty Callahan, all did a collection in honor of her. Um, she wrote about a book a year about the South around Charleston, but she always wrote about real things that were in Charleston. So like if I would go on vacation, I always enjoyed reading her book because I could go see the island or go see the restaurant that she went to with her characters in her books. So this really was a really good uh, read and I think it would be a nice beach read. Hey, today I'm going to be talking about Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. It is set in 1954 San Francisco and the main character is a Chinese American girl named Lily who loves science and science fiction and space, which is a little out of sync with what her best friends are really interested in. And it's an interesting time to be Chinese American in San Francisco because of communism in China and racism in the United States and the federal government being concerned about Chinese Americans and communism all at the same time. And in addition to all of that, Lily is starting to question her own sexuality when she sees an advertisement for a male impersonator uh, who performs at the Telegraph Club in the local newspaper. So, so far, it's been a really good read. I'm only part way through, but I'm really enjoying it. So pick it up and give it a try. First book I'd like to recommend is called The Last Garden in England. This was a really different book. I read all different genres, but this one was really interesting. It takes place over three different time periods. 1907, when this garden in, uh, attached to this mansion was um, established. And then again in 1944, when it became a hospital for wounded soldiers, and then present day, where it was being restored. There's five women in it, uh, their lives intermingle with this garden and this mansion. I just really enjoyed it, it was just a different book to read. Um, you really lose yourself, a, um, the language is gentle, uh, not a lot of, not, there's a little bit of romance, but not a lot. It's just a little bit of secrets in it, a good ending, and I just really, and I've already recommended it to a few patrons, and they have come back and said they really did enjoy it. It was, it was, quite, it was quite different, so I do recommend it.